Yes, another end to a busy day. It's not quite the end yet, silly. You still have one more stop. Oh, I know that, Henrietta. You don't need to nag. Well, somebody's got to keep this branch line in order. Oh dear. <laughs> Good evening, Thomas. Oh, hello, Toby. Just the engine I wanted to see. What can I do for you, sir? The vicar is hosting his annual summer fair tomorrow, and he's asked for you to be the special attraction. How wonderful! How exciting! How can I? Who will look after Henrietta? And who will do my jobs? I can do your work for you tomorrow, Toby. Excellent. It's all arranged then. First thing tomorrow morning, I want you to go straight to the steamworks for a polish. Yes, sir. You must be very excited. I suppose so. I don't know if I'll be a very interesting special attraction though. I'm only an old tram after all. I'm sure you'll be great, Toby. Hopefully. And you're sure you can do all my work? Um. Yes, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be great. Of course. How convincing! Shh. Uh, don't you worry, Toby. I'll have everything taken care of. You just enjoy your special day. Okay. Well, thank you ever so much. Goodbye. Now, what was all that about? Why didn't you ask him any questions? You don't know anything about any of his jobs. Oh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Besides, I don't want Toby to be worrying about me all day tomorrow. He needs to focus on being the best special attraction he can be. Why didn't you give him any more instructions? You should have told him about. He's a clever engine, and I don't want to annoy him with things I'm sure he already knows. You're worried you'll annoy him. That doesn't matter if what you're saying is important. I never worry about annoying you. Believe me, I know you don't. Whoa! Oh, hello. What is it, Annie? It's Henrietta. Oh, hello, dearies. She'll be joining us today while I do Toby's work. So, what's the first job, Thomas? Um. Uh, My Toby didn't tell him uh, anything. Well, our Thomas didn't ask any questions either. Uh, it's going to be a long day. I wonder if Thomas will be all right. I hope it's not all too much for him. I'm. I mean, Percy is at least doing a few of Thomas's jobs. That should help, right? Well, but I did leave him on his own. You've... You're right, Victor. I should go check on him. Uh, thanks for the polish and the advice. Mm. I hope he's not having too much trouble. We have to stop here, you Wait, know. What? Ah, ah, ah. Now this is just frustrating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. I hope Toby's ready for the fate by now. Now, where's my train of stone trucks? You're a tank engine. You arrange your own trains. Oh, right. There we go. That about does it. Toby doesn't normally take this many trucks, Thomas. I can handle a few extra trucks. Thomas... <laughs> oh, see? 
Just try anything and you'll wish you'd never left this quarry. This is one of the longest flights I've ever seen. It wouldn't do you much good if it were green. The points are set against you. Toby always rings his bell so the signalman knows he's there. Oh, no! Oh, no! Move, cows! No! Oh, no! Move, cows! Move! It's no use. We can't go back, and I certainly don't have cow catchers. But I do. Toby? Toby? Toby! Shouldn't you be at the fate by now? They're expecting you! I was worried about how you were getting on. I've been looking for you all day. Oh, I'm so sorry, Toby. I wanted you to enjoy today without thinking about me. I should have asked you about your jobs yesterday. And I should have given you more information about them. Well, obviously. I wonder how long it's going to take Thomas and Toby to figure out what's going on. Until the cows come home. sure about this. Just smile and ring your bell, Toby. But not too loudly. You don't want to scare anyone. Oh, and make sure you don't let off too much steam oh, either. Oh, Henrietta. Well, I'm just saying, if you'd have listened to us in the first place, we'd have been here much sooner. Quite right, Annie. Dun 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 d